Someone said I said Su Quan. I either said Su Quan or Say. Who the, I, I've never heard anyone say Su Quan, so can Su Quan these. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is going on, guys? We're back with another video. We are doing another 10 year sim, and because the NFL decided, oh, we don't need to do Thursday night games anymore, we don't really have Thursday night to uh, really do this. So, I don't know. There might be a schedule change for uh, the series now. Honestly, we might move rebuilds to Thursdays. And then, uh, wait, do we do? We already do rebuilds on Thursday. We might re move rebuilds to Wednesdays. And 10-year sims on Sundays. I don't know what the hell we do on Thursday. But let me know what you guys think of that. Let me know what you guys think about uh, following me on Twitter. Trump PK and following my YouTube channel. PK Plays. You know? <laughs> so, uh, of course, here we are with the Eagles uh, updated roster. Carson Wentz is only an 85 overall. He's superstar dev, though. He's 25. So, that's not the worst thing that could possibly happen. Uh, offensive line is still looking pretty damn good. Uh, it's not going to last very long, though. Golden Tate, a new acquisition, of course. Uh, Aguilar. There's a lot of elderly-type players here. Uh, Jay Ajayi got hurt throughout the season, so I'm going to... Uh, pretty sure he did. Going to put him as a starter again. Uh, are they actually really starting Darren Sproles? Really not built to be a starter, is he? I don't know. Uh, but that's pretty much as far as my extent to actually changing the team up. Of course, if you're new to the series... What we do, oh my god, look at the corners. What we do is uh, we get one move to acquire a player. We might be able to trade down or, you know, use stuff that's only picks. But we, we get one move to do that. And pretty much the rest is all on the AI to see what happens after 10 years. Is it going to be an accurate representation? I don't freaking know. I mean, come back in 10 years, I suppose, when I'm dead. I mean, hopefully not, but maybe. Who knows? All right, so here we are, year one. We missed the playoffs at 6 and 10. Um, is that really a thing that happened? I suppose so. Um, okay, so show you guys we didn't cheat. I don't know why I would, but yeah. To be fair, the, the Eagles in real life not really doing too well. Really poor stretch here. Five straight losses. Damn. But they're not really doing too well in real life either, so you can't really say it's super crazy to see. Um, wow, Wentz did too very well though i mean with those numbers why is jay number two well he probably wasn't in the power back and all it is what it is who cares probably won't even keep him all right so i don't know how many times we're gonna get a good pick with the uh the eagles so what i'm going to do oh i have to renegotiate uh oh lads i might have to do this on my own i i might actually have to partake in this all right so everything is set i don't think i'm gonna go for a free agent but i'll take a look in case just in case uh, did they get Golden Tate back? They did keep him. All right. Don't know if that would have been my move. Eight mil left. This is a scenario. I'll tell you what. So, Tevin Coleman's there. Jason Verrett. All right. There's a, a new name. So, the Chargers let go of Verrett and Trevor Williams. I'm not sure that's the smartest move, but it's up to them, and I'm not going to go against their wishes. He's somewhat strong as well. You got a corner here. Oh, you got one of those types of corners, too. Yeah, this is a very big selection here. I like a lot of these players, though. Ooh, this strong save, he looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go for that strong save. And hopefully, the AI makes the right decision. Come on. Really? Oh, no. I'm an idiot. I just wanted to put the star on so I didn't forget about him. Wow, that's a big mistake. Is there any way I can cheese? I just need to cheese my way back to the top, boys. If I can give him a third round for this, I'd do it. Okay, so... I know technically it's it's off to a rough start. I'll, I'll put it that way. I don't know who the hell I even want here. Actually, no, I, I don't choose this because the safety was my choice. All right, what are you guys going to take? Okay, they take a middle linebacker, so hopefully that was a good pick. Yeah, that was uh, a bit of a rocky one, but it worked out pretty well. Oh, it worked out really well. He's 24, but that's a good pick. He's not going to last the whole tenure, which is insane, but that's a good pick. Star Dev, 24, can't be mad. DT Rashard Blunt, not very good. Kobe Patton, quick dev, decently fast, no agility. I don't know what the wide receiver situation is, but that's that's interesting. So it picks eight. We took Nesbit. I can't remember which one was the D end. Who was it? Was it uh, Lamb? It has the right size, but there's no way I would have looked at a 24 year old, would I? 
I don't even know, but that's that's the early first. That's basically what I've got for you. All right, so not really much to it. This is the team. Uh, I got to you know set the training. I also did push Nesbit up to number one because McLeod. He's a decent overall, but he's already 29. He's pretty damn slow. He's not really much better than Nesbit, and Nesbit's so much younger. Uh, we missed the playoffs again. All right, so eight, seven, and one. A lot better though, in fairness. MVP Deshaun Watson. I did not want to look at playoffs. Uh, I don't even care. Uh, honestly, if you think I'm cheating, I don't care. I really don't. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, I forgot. This is the Cowboys, man. The Cowboys division, they do really well for some reason. Carson kind of did better. Jay definitely did better. Receiving. Oh, Patton somehow got in there. Uh, I don't know where the hell all these yards came from. Patton was even evolved in there. Okay, so this offense is not bad. Ha honestly, don't know how we didn't make the playoffs with an offense like this. Four guys, I had about 800 each, just about. Uh, so Nesbitt, not a bad season. Maybe it works his way into something. Uh, seven sacks for Gilbert. All right. Interesting. Eight for nine for Elliot. I mean, that, that kind of signifies a good team, doesn't it? The fact you only had nine field goal attempts. Seems like a lot of scoring's going on. Let's see. Any crazy numbers? So Patton, he's a 78 overall. That's only two upgrade. Nesbitt is not a two upgrade, though. Okay. Three picks. I mean, I know, like, anywhere from the three to five range can actually get you some really good upgrades, especially if the rest of the position was bad. But that's a very big jump. Now, they're kind of gaining a lot. I'm going to get rid of the second round there, or the third round. But I'm taking the risk that this linebacker is going to be A, good, and B, even there. <laughs> you know, I don't even know. So both are there, but who do we need more? The linebacker we obviously physically need. But Logan Urbach is really solid, too. I think the team already knows we need a DN, so I'm going to go with this linebacker. Oof. I mean, we had a guy like this before. I doubt it's going to work out for us here, but maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I always fall into those linebackers, I tell you. So they did not get the guy I wanted. They went with Harvey Bussey, a position of need. But yeah, that's, that's really bad. So let's see... If I can find the two players that we were looking for, a.k.a. the safety. So we had picked like 17. Oh, did the Bengals actually trade up and take the guy we were looking at? I think this was him. I can't tell. He's a pretty good player if that was. Urbach actually went two picks behind us. 77 overall dev of normal. So, I mean, really not even missing anything on that. I think it was just a bad draft, really. Just a bad class in general. So the line's looking a little rough. Kelsey somehow is still here. How old is he now? 32. Okay, he's a little bit younger than I thought he was, actually. But yeah, we're getting old. Luckily, the star devs are still around. Yeah, luckily for that. Still have a little bit left in him, I suppose. Golden Tate should probably move down the list for Aguilar now. That's why I never draft outside linebackers unless I know they're good. Because if they're 74, 73 overall middle, they usually go up 76, 77, 78 outside. That's that one position you really get away with. So this not... <sighs> okay. What? 4 and 12? How? How is this a 4 and 12 team? But maybe not. 4 and 12, that's a that's a pretty good draft pick. Okay, so Carson Wentz actually did play pretty badly. I still don't I mean like we didn't replace any of the original players. We didn't change the scheme. I didn't change the playbook. Why are they doing so badly? I don't know. Is it the division? Is it really the division? I mean, because we know the Cowboys are sick in the division for some reason. The Giants are a glitch as well. The Redskins are doing pretty well. I mean, that's what? Maybe six losses out the gate? So maybe that's maybe that's why. Maybe maybe we're losing because of that. I don't know. But that just seems ridiculous to me that we keep sucking. I was going to go with a wide receiver boost, but I went wide. I went O-line, linebacker, D-line because I just know we got to make some changes. Look at this O-line. It is, it is on that last breath. An L.A. battle of the ages in the Chargers win. So 7 mil of free agent cap space. I don't know where the money is. Tree Cohen's an interesting name. Cam Jordan, he's way too old. Uh, we don't really need a tight end. And even if we did, nah, I guess and David and Njoku is pretty solid. What dev is he? Quick dev? Yeah, he is actually pretty good. Hicks is getting that, uh, that age out there. So, yeah, we're not going to go with a free agent. Early furs. This guy's a good corner, man. Perry Gardner. Can I move down a couple of picks and then just not take Perry? Who's this guy? Got a couple of really good corners here. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy. 
Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We allow ourselves two moves that are non-gaining of players. So can I do something, as they say, very insane here? Boom. We gained an extra pick next year. I moved down two, which is a little risky because they could take both corners here. They do not. They take none of the corners. All right. So corner isn't a big need for the team. So I don't know if the AI is actually going to take them. I would take Tyler or uh, one of the corners. I don't know which one, honestly. It's hard to tell between Gardner, who's 21, and Sanchez, who's both. I mean, they're both 21. I really don't even know who you would go for here. Honestly, I think of all the picks you have, the worst one would be the linebacker, but they might value him. I don't know. So that's very good trade for both teams. I'm getting to move up to the pick 13. So I don't even want to see what pick we got. I just want to move on to our pick. Yes, Lamar Green. Quick dev only, but he's 23. Pretty solid. He's actually not even that great, to be honest, but he's good enough. But, yeah, we do need that pick because Jordan Howard, or Jordan Howard, where, where did that kind of name come from? Jordan Hicks, not really that good. I, can, I don't need to see any of this. I mean, we added an extra first round, but we did use that to go away. So, really, we had, what, two firsts and a second this year, and then we just were back to normal next year. So, pick two worked out pretty well. I don't know what they got in the first pick. Honestly, don't know what I want. They do go with one of the corners. All right, so Gardner looks insane oh my god okay so they made the right call i think then with the number two pick overall they grab a star dev running back i know i kind of coax this thing a little bit you know i trade us down to a spot where they couldn't take any stupid thing above but with the pick of the running back and gardner i mean they did very well they did very well so i traded maddox and hicks for Frank Ragnar, which I think is completely fair. He is 25, but he's only an 82 overall. Really hasn't upgraded too much. What dev is he? Quick dev. I mean, that's really not special. He's got a contract year here. So I think that's completely fair in my book. So I'm not even going to feel bad about it. However, because we gained a player through trade, that does give us no option this season when it comes to, uh, to free agents or the draft. Can we make the playoffs one time? 5-11. and 11. Do you really think this is a 5-11 and 11 team? Nesbitt could be like a lockdown corner. So maybe Gardner does just stay as like the fastest safety in the damn league. I don't know. I'm not going to show you guys the schedule. It just doesn't make any sense. I want to win. And it's just not happening. So that's it. Carson's just severely underperforming at this point. I'm actually just going to sim to the offseason and then through to the draft. Because I don't want to look at what I could have had. Because, A, we might not even have the money. Rams win. And, B, I can't grab somebody because we already used it on the trade. All right, so draft recap. 5 and 11. That's a pretty top, probably 10 pick. Oh, crap. We swapped picks on accident, did we? We went with a cornerback. How many corners do they think we need? Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought it said 788 speed. He's a coverage linebacker. Why the hell... Would we need a damn coverage linebacker? Don't tell me they got rid of our uh, our Schmidt fella. I don't remember what year he was. If they got rid of Schmidt, oh. Boys, the world is going to see something. So Lane, so the right side of the line is still fine. I don't know how Ragnar goes to center. I know Kelsey might have retired or just went to free agency, but that makes no sense at all. We got rid of Patton. All right. I oh, know we didn't. Patton's just up there. That really sucks, though, that we ended with pick 20 instead of what would have been, I don't know, pick 5 to 10, somewhere in that range. That really does blow, but it's fair enough because we did end up making a great trade. So both teams landed some pretty good stuff. I would say, who do we trade with? The Lions? I don't know who it was, but whoever traded with us, they got a pretty big steal. Like, I thought the deal was already kind of rough. Like, eh, maybe both teams are kind of getting a one-up on each other by an inch. But yeah, they definitely won that one in the end goal. And we're 7-9. Like, can... I get Zeke and the Cowboys are dominant. But are you for real, man? Who the hell is this guy? Oh, that guy. I remember him now. Uh, Ragnar, I don't know where the hell he is. Did he just not start? There's no way they didn't start him. Like, he's good enough to start. What the hell are they doing? So you win this Super Bowl because we obviously know it's not us. LA getting another one. Dallas gets another one, though. 
So, offensive line, kind of a big need. Wide receiver, huge need. 22 mil, that's a decent bit. We have enough to pick up one big name. Uh, I don't know who Chantrell is. That would be a good player to have. He's really slow for being short, though, so maybe not. Paying him about 10 mil a year, which is a little steep, but in this market of uh, Madden linemen, that's not that bad, actually, which is kind of weird to say. He's, it's a good deal, I think. We... Uh, we did well, I think. I think that was a good choice. Not to mention, I still have the option to get rid of two players if I want, so that could come down to not one of the old alignment we have because we don't have a need to release them anymore because they have released themselves through death. I mean, the old line's still here, kind of. Oh, uh, we got rid of Patton. That's a pretty smart idea for a team that really needs wide receivers. I'm not going to go around saying Patton's the greatest of all time, but what I will say is if this draft pick isn't a wide receiver, pick one and two, I don't know what to tell you. A sit okay, he's star dev. What the hell? I get we got lucky with a gardener before, but I mean, how many gardeners do you need? Our lawn's not that big. Jesus. These are the receiving threats we have, and we didn't go wide receiver till round four. I don't know what to tell you, you know? I don't know what to tell you. Aglor's probably like 34. He's 30. I was going to say legit 31, but 30 is... That's a pretty rough age to be their number one wide receiver who's averaging what a number three receiver would probably get on, like, the Patriots. Well, let's Sam. Are we even going to make the playoffs one time? I mean, this team legit now doesn't deserve to make the playoffs. Before, we did, and we couldn't do it, so... I mean, it's not going to get much better from here. And the worst part is, I thought we did a damn good job of uh, refueling this defense into being a great team obviously we're not going to make it five and eleven i mean look at the defense it's a great defense i know there's d-line issues a little bit isaac verndon don't know who the hell that is uh corners looking good nesbitt i don't even think he can upgrade anymore he's so good already he literally can't all right gardner i don't know why the hell they have him not you buddy which they'll probably get rid of you anyways realistically this team needs to trade darby and get a wide receiver. Did I even check the stats? I don't even know if I did. We'll take a quick look. So the yards are nice. Touchdown rate, pick ratio is all right. Green finally had a good season. Well, I don't know who Morgan Peterson is, but maybe he has a chance now. 24 years. Okay. It's a little slow, but okay. I can see it. All right. We'll probably get rid of him this year, but it's all right. Wide receiver still a big need, though. Aguilar might be even gone at this point. Even if he isn't, he's probably old and bad. I don't see him. I think he's gone. Uh, we also just lost Lane Johnson. Uh, tight end's about to go. So the offense is a 79 overall. Wentz is probably normal dev. Quick dev. Okay. We have 61 mil. So that proves the kind of lacking of talent we have now. Uh, Clayton Jacobs, a 97 overall. If he's a pass rusher. Oh, my God. He's a pass rusher. Holy crap. Like, this is a lot of money for Madden terms. Like, this is a ton of money is he like von miller he's slow as hell how the hell is he even good so we're paying him like almost mac prime status which in fairness his overall indicates that he is that guy and the sad part is i have to offer him this kind of money otherwise he's just not gonna stay he's still rejected after i offered him a six year 100 like i will play as a brown for six years 109 mil i don't care who the hell you are you're not declining that and that's another thing to the huge list of things EA needs to fix on this game. Having to pay people like 15, 20 mil extra just to go to your team. Like, I know this time it kind of makes a little bit more sense since we are a really bad team. But even when we're really good, like, what's the downfall? Like, we could be the LA Chargers giving him better than everyone else in the league and just coming off a of Super Bowl and they'll still not choose us. Like, what's the downfall? You're moving to L.A., you're getting paid top tier in the league, and you're on a team that just won a Super Bowl. What the hell would be the downfall, you know? Okay, it works. I mean, I expected it to. Let's see what they land just for the hell of it. Good choice. So, Bryant Wooden, I don't know if that was one of the guys or not. I think it actually might have been. I don't actually know, but he's pretty good, I suppose. He's obviously starter quality, but... Every other player in the draft that we took, absolutely terrible. Pick three, and we we landed a 72 overall right tackle. What a useless turd. 
Okay, so we did go nine and seven. Oh, I thought it said Jake Elliott, did it? Wait, I swear it said the Eagles. It must have meant Zeke, and it just like glitched out in the logo. Swear to God, it said Jake Elliott won the MVP. Uh, quick dab for Morgan Peterson. He's getting better though. He's getting better. He's not really doing too well though. Uh, Nesbitt, he's just so good. I probably should have started uh, Garden. Oh, Coleco. Hello, slow boy. 24 years old, uh, normal dev. Look at that agility. Why does he just play like running back? I don't know, maybe. Who's Cook? Lamarcus. We have way too many corners. When are we going to learn that? Should have traded Darby for uh, something. I don't know. Yeah, we need DT now. <laughs> I mean, we need wide receiver, really. But we have... we. I mean, I'm going to say we probably... Oh, Sherwin's good now, finally. I'm going to say we probably did technically choose a player uh, with that D end. But at the same time, that was our biggest need. I mean, look at our D ends right now. Imagine not having him. Like, our D line is horrible. Absolutely horrible. And once again, I'm sorry for slurring my words. But I'm wasted, all right? No, but I do have a canker sore, and it's killing me. Cowboys win Super Bowl three, I believe. Keenan Allen's an 84 overall at the age of 33. I may regret trading him in the legacy. I'm just saying. However, I did really poorly with him, in fairness. I'm actually going to use one of my picks on linemen here because this guy's actually really good. I'm going to have to go higher because it doesn't matter. Game doesn't like me. All right, so 101 points. That should get him. That really isn't that expensive either, which is kind of weird because he's a safety. Or a safety? A, a tackle. Aretha Franklin joined our team. So what is our line looking like? Not great. Uh, wide receiver, still a pretty big issue. Harrison, uh, Arsenio Harrison, he's slow as hell. Not progressing like Peterson, though. At least Peterson's, you know, did I say regressing? Progressing. Uh, defense is pretty solid. So... This needs to be wide receiver and or D-line. Any sort of D-line. I don't care. Uh, I think we're also probably going to make the move to Gardner being a cornerback. Please have safety ability. Not really. What about Cook? So, Gardner has to play corner. It's a more important position. Quick dev only. All right. Surprised we contracted him, though. That's pretty interesting. So, instantly the best corner in the league, basically. Um, and let's move Kalika over to safety. He's a good overall, so I would say... What's the other? Oh, he goes up. He actually goes up three overalls. All right. Sounds good to me, buddy. But he's going to need a contract this year, I think. All right, so start the NFL drive. I know we have a lot of coaching XP, but there's really not much I can get with it. Pick 11. All right, so speed rusher. We do need a pass rusher. I think that's going to be my guy. Do need a DT as well, though. Oof, both are good. Well, Mr. Craig Stover, welcome to the team. Please be good. Quick dev. We took him 12. He's supposed to go 11. Or we took him 11. He's supposed to go 12. Seems like we made a good choice there. He's a good pass rusher. I'm not really sure why they're making him out to be some terrible player. That's honestly with exactly what the team was needing. So we did use both of our choices. We got a tackle, and then we obviously we drafted that linebacker to play D-end. So very good choice. Honestly, pick 19, I think you got to go DT. Hopefully that's where they went. So, with pick 19, they go Ray Hollowell. Supposed to be a 74 overall. Not bad, but not great either. Sheldon Grimes, 77 or 76 overall. Looks pretty good. And then they go with another lineman. A go oh, here we go. Jimmy Lacey. He's the worst of the three, but star dev. Yeah, you're playing uh, left guard for us, buddy. So, is Lacey the guard with strong? Okay, he does have star. So, that's the guy. I forgot about wide receiver, actually. That's a huge need, too. 88 overall, though. This is probably a Super Bowl team. And by Super Bowl, I mean, obviously, not Super Bowl. I mean, uh, ooh. I mean, a uh, playoff team, at least. How good is Malik Collins? They're bringing up Malik Collins like he's some sort of god. Three Super Bowl rings, which is ridiculous. Why are they bringing up Malik here? Why the hell are they bringing up Malik Collins? He's horrendous. What the? Why is he about it? What the hell? We made it. We've made it. Oh, my lord. The cable turned off. Giants are 13-3. and three. Wait, did the Cowboys miss? 10-6. and six, I don't know. I don't know why I said it like that, by the way. That was weird. Uh, not a super great season for Carson. Pretty decent season for Green, who's been definitely pretty solid. Morgan Peterson, he's still doing well. What's his dev? Still quick. If he would have got 1,000, I think they would have given him star. 
honestly out of nowhere, man. I like I guess to be fair, when you have no receivers, somebody's gotta step up. But still, that's I mean it's still really solid. Uh sack totals, the rookie. Come on. Not at all. Seven's not good. Nesbit Garner is looking pretty good. So we finally get to look at the awards and whatnot. We're hey, we're here too, guys. Don't worry about it. We just uh just took a little bit longer than the rest of you. Defensive player of the year is Loon Lamar Lunar? He's our player. Lamar Green. Jesus. He's our player, and I didn't know who the hell he was, basically. Uh, best O line. Damn, I was uh I know I can't really do it, I couldn't really do it, but I was thinking about getting Will Hernandez. I'm like, eh, doesn't usually upgrade himself. Maybe it maybe he can get away with it, but yeah. After that award, maybe not. Wide receiver, tight end, that needs to be the move. Lacey, even though it's star dev, didn't really upgrade himself too much. Looking pretty good, boys. We should be able to beat the Cardinals, right? Super Bowl first year in the playoffs? Or we'll just lose. Okay. Absolutely crazy. Miles Garrett, not actually bad running back. Did we keep... You know, we still have Green. He's so good and young, man. Nesbitt's getting old, though. I'm honestly so desperate for wide receiver. I'm, I'm half tempted just to take one of these guys. Corey Sullivan seems to be the guy, though. Oh, he's definitely the guy, without a doubt. He's easily that dude. Like, I really do. Thank you. All right, so we have some receivers now. All right. We just need a tight end. So I accidentally simmed a little too far. So who do we get in the draft? Is this a new guy? He's not a new guy. Did we go with a wide receiver? And we already, that was our guy already. Uh, Hicks? No. Any linemen, maybe? Hollowell, we already know of. Maybe they went defense? I don't know why they would. What the hell did they get? DT? No. Did we just, like, skip the draft this year? Let's just take a look at youngest. No, 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 no. Although that probably works, too. So did we go tight end? Darren Boone, terrible. Uh, Marshall Dishman, he might have been a first-round talent, actually. Especially after making the playoffs. If Dishman was our first-round pick, I'm going to be very saddened. He was. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was pretty bad. All right, so we're going on to Season 9 now. It's been a long 10-year sim, and the worst part is it's easily... And I mean easily the worst one we've ever had. We just made the playoffs year eight, you know? It's not looking good. I'll tell you what. If we could just finish it off with like another... Honestly, just the next two seasons, two playoffs trips. I don't even care if we win any of the games. And we do make it. 11-4-1. Okay. Cowboys are the most valuable. Followed by... I don't even know. Definitely not us, though. I know we got a couple of good seasons here. Quote, unquote. Oh, good season by Carson. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely not one of the most valuable. I don't know where Harrison came out of, but looking good. Corey Sullivan, the devil's mark. Not paying up to that money, really. Harrison, what a dev is he? Quick dev. Got a couple of slow. I don't understand how the slow guys are doing so well. Carson just loves those slow possessioners. He's got those slow guys and he loves throwing to him. And then he's got Corey Sullivan, who's so fast and good. And he's just like, nah. Give me the slow guy. <laughs> just give me the guy that can't get open. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're taller. I don't know. A little bit of a pass rush this time. I mean, nothing big. Just a little something, some. Any awards at all is the question. The answer appears to be Carson Wentz wins quarterback of the year. But it appears to be if you're a team with a red color jersey, you won every award. Jake Elliott with a uh, kicker of the year. Almost saw the MVP. Kind of like I did that one time. So technically, we won a playoff game because we're in the next round. Rams, glitchy as hell, probably going to win this. They do not. All right. Bird versus Bird. We lose by uh, seven. So we at least came close. We got one final season in us, but we got close, which I would say is all that matters. And we lost to the, we lost by seven to the team that won 21 point, got a 21 point victory in the Super Bowl. What do you want from us? You know, we're not getting much better than that. We literally won't get much better than that. 18 mil, so maybe we did pay off most of the guys that we had on our list. I don't know who it was, but someone said I said Suquan. Never once. I either said Su Quan, Su, or Say. Who th I, I've never heard anyone say Suquan, so can Suquan these. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. <gasps> 
God. It was there. I had to take it, man. I Please don't be mad at me. Maybe I did say it. I, I don't know. Look what you've done to me. I'm a mess. So we were picked on a 29, so <laughs> basically not going to get anything. What the hell am I supposed to draw? Oh, late first. He's got a late first potential. I might just do it. And whoever they grab is who they grab. That's basically life here. They take the wide receiver, right? Corla's maze. Probably the, of the three, the least needed at this point, which is ironic as hell. Uh, normal dev, but he is pretty good. He's starting caliber. I would have rather taken the DT, though. So let's go on. See if we land anything. And see if we can go to three straight uh, Super Bowl as hell now. Playoffs, which would be pretty interesting. I don't know if we can do it. It's a challenge. Definitely a challenge. We'll see if it's if it's a possibility, though. So draft recap. I might have screwed that one up. I want to see what the overalls were, if I can remember. Uh, we did go with the tight end. He's not super great, but quick dev, tall as hell. Definitely going to be our starter, which is really, really awkward to say, but he is. I mean, he's not the best team in the world, but we're still at 90 overall. We have a decent offense now. Christian's starting. I'm sorry. Christian's start. Christian, I believe the rookie, is going to start for us. Let's get on with it. Why not? The final year. Can we do it? Three straight playoffs. Maybe one Super Bowl. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we've seen it before. Not super common, but it's it's happened. 11-5, all right. So uh, I don't know why you guys would think I would cheat, but three straight is, it's a little fishy after th seven straight bad seasons. There you go. There's the results. Tons of XP for the coach. Really doesn't matter here. Uh, and maybe if we come back to it, which I don't think I will, because I pretty much deleted all of these 10-year sims, except for the Chiefs one. Uh, yeah, the, maybe then it'll come into play, but... Yeah, I don't think I'll ever do a reload of one of these because it's just, I mean, if we're going to do reloads, you might as well do the rebuilds because those are those are actually more our decisions and whatnot. A lot of this is randomized. Can they do it, though? That's the question. Can they win one Super Bowl playing against the Giants? Super lackluster. I'm so happy that's the way that went because the Giants totally deserve it as a 9-7 and team without Barkley and other star players. The Buccaneers and Raiders, please win later. Damn it, I wanted the Raiders to win just to, to really shove it in our face. Buccaneers win year 10 Super Bowl. Carson Wentz finishes as a 35-year-old 89 overall player. Let's take a look at his career stats. Honestly, probably didn't finish off too well if we're being completely legit. I wish it would show you the total at the end because I'm not doing the math. So, yeah. Best season, I would say, was probably 2019. It's kind of a debate between these two years, but 2019, probably his best year. Had a nice little comeback in 2016. Not bad, to be fair. And then there's really not many other players on the team. Maybe maybe Green will take a look at the stats because he stayed a star dev pretty much his entire career, seven years in the league. And he had a, a damn good career with us. Only got double-digit touchdowns one time, but lots of yardages. Uh, you know, averaging probably around 4.5 per carry in his career, receiving, you know, about 300 yards per season. So a 1,500-yard back is not a bad thing by any means. And then I suppose we'll take a look at Nesbitt because he's been on the team for a long time. Uh, Nine-year career. What overall? Quick dev. Quick dev, nine-year career. Keep clicking the wrong thing. Let's take a look at what his seasons look like. Any great season. So... Year one, he had 104 tackles. I can see why he devved up so quickly. Pick totals, I don't know, around 20, I would say, which is pretty good for a safety career. Uh, tackles, I mean, averaged about 80 per you know season. Obviously, kind of fell down here, but the earlier season, nah, probably about 75, 80. A pretty good see, uh, career, though. Not a whole lot of sacks, which is kind of shocking because he played safety half of it, for a strong safety half of it. But still pretty decent uh quality career from him really not a whole lot maybe Heinz I guess we'll take a look at him as well he's been on the team for the entirety just about so Heinz uh which is interesting because you look at his sack totals and he actually had some ridiculous seasons as a three uh, a four three linebacker 17 and a half Zach 16 and a half 13 11.5 maybe the pass rush solution was in right in front of our faces the entire time an insane linebacker had a couple of picks in his career. Not a whole lot, though. About five. Maybe begs the differ the question of 
what the hell were they doing with him his entire career? He's 85 overall now, so yeah. I mean, he had a great pass rush career, even though he's a coverage linebacker and didn't have good pass rush stats. I don't know what to tell you. Good job, EA. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. If you have any suggestions for series in the future or, you know, adjustments to the series we already have, let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome PK, if you can. Uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, PK Air Players, if you can. Uh, just stroke, PK Air Plays. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!